Starting today, Minnesotans will pay more for some deliveries. A newly passed delivery fee law goes into effect this month, and Minnesotans can expect to pay an additional 50 cents on deliveries of more than $100. Tonight, KTTC's Quinn Gorham breaks down the new fee and where residents can expect this additional money to go. Next time you click that checkout button, be on the lookout for an extra fee. This is a very, very small amount of money um, that would go to help pay for the impact to our roadways from the delivery of, of goods to our front doors. Starting July 1st, Minnesotans will pay an extra 50 cents on deliveries over $100. The new fee is part of a law passed in St. Paul this past spring, and the 50 cent fee is a flat rate. It could be $100, it could be $150, it could be $10,000, still going to be just that 50 cents. The idea is that since the COVID pandemic, we've shifted to a more delivery heavy method of commerce. So lawmakers said, let's create a law that much like the gas tax would create a fee for delivery drivers, one which goes straight back into the state's transportation fund. So we're not necessarily driving to stores, we're not to drive to a store. We're paying a tiny little bit amount of money, either through our license tab fee, our gas tax, motor vehicle sales tax, to pay for the upkeep uh, and maintenance of our road. The new law isn't without its detractors. Republicans were vocal against the law, saying any added tax for Minnesota consumers ought to be looked at with scrutiny. Well, again, it's another uh, very regressive tax uh, because it's, it hits the lower income people more harder than, than higher income people. Republicans like Representative John Petersburg say the fee is unnecessary and that money for transportation could be collected in a more efficient way. We have a real challenge with it because of the amount of money that is collecting for one, uh, where it's going for two, and whether or not it's the the best way to again increase taxes. Dibble says the bill contains several exemptions, including for deliveries of food, baby products, and medical products. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. The bill does have a supply side exemption for businesses.